Hey, hello everyone, Sean Simons. Look at Butch is here too. Woo We're actually over here at the Paramotor facility over at runintothesky.org, um, a nonprofit to help disabled veterans learn to run into the sky. And if they can't run into the sky, we have adaptive um, paramotors that can that we can build from scratch. Not scratch like cat scratch, but actually we can build them, man. Really cool stuff. I wish we had more time to go through and, and look at all this stuff over here, but we only have an hour tonight. So we're on just a couple of minutes early and we're gonna say hello to everybody in the on the panel. What's up everybody on the panel? Woohoo! Hey, hey. Everybody. Man, what a wonderful day. Um, somebody said that I look like Hulk Hogan, so <laughs> Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how he says anything. All right, uh, JB, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Um, appreciate you joining us tonight. I know that you've been working like a diggity dog. Yeah, we've been working hard at getting our mobile trailer and stuff all set up and ready to go, getting uh, different fly-ins and stuff lined up. And, yeah, you know, we've been pretty busy trying out some new things. So still got to take Mondays off, come in and pop in and teach you guys a little bit. Well, that's really awesome. Definitely appreciate that. So you're going to be going to different fly-ins and you're going to be hanging out at different fly-ins and, uh, and uh, supporting your, your merch store, right? Because you got a lot of really cool stuff. Yes, I'm uh, doing a lot, of, a lot of custom work right now. I'm trying to get set up where I can do uh, event tumblers and mugs and stuff at the events for their event. So if I'm at an event, you want one of the mugs or something, you have to be at that event. That's just kind of how I'm working it. Gotcha. Well, um, we're going to be doing the spinny wheel of, I'm sorry, spinny will, all right? Or is that right? Will fly? Yeah. Will? Will. <laughs> yeah, that will. Will uh, tonight. So you said that you want to give some stuff away. Uh, what are we giving away tonight, JB? Uh, I'll give away uh, a couple of JB decals, jbppg.com decals. Okay, that's awesome. So how are we going to make sure that they get their decals, whoever wins? Oh, yeah, you got to head over to jbppg.com, make that free account over there, and then uh, I'll know exactly where to send it to. That is awesome. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. I know that you're really busy with all the stuff going on and, uh, and giving away stuff on the show, so definitely appreciate you, bro. Not a problem. We also got our maple syrup smelling money guy. Does he? Does everybody know him as the maple syrup guy, I or do, do they, or do they know him as I Jim? Call him. All right. I just now started calling him Jim, but I still call him Maple Syrup Money. <laughs> so you should change your name, Jim, to Maple Syrup Money. Welcome to the show, buddy. I'm glad that you're here. I'm just thinking, if I'm Maple Syrup Money, then that's way better than being called Fifty Cent because that's a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> There you go, Maple. All right, Maple Syrup, smell of money. Oh, Jim from Canada, eh? What's all the boot? And tell us about your decals. I got, yeah, I got decals, and it's a boot getting them printed. That's what it is. Uh, so, Jim is awesome, guys. Yeah. Jim is awesome. I, I'm telling you, Jim is just incredible. If you want to get some print, something printed, connect with us, and we'll make sure it gets done for you. You can do decals, calendars, whatever you need. In fact, we'll give a calendar away today for the PPG calendar. So in order to, uh, if you win, then go to paramotorcalendar.com or ppgcalendar.com and sign in and we'll and send us your info and we'll make sure that you get it. That is awesome. What if people want to go to your your carepp.com or paramotor calendar or ppgcalendar.com and get 10% off? Is there a 10% off thing? Oh, yeah, there is. There's this guy. Um, I don't know. Is that, is that old is guy? That the Hulk is that Hogan the, guy? the guy that's really Hulk. forgetful. Not the, not the maple syrup guy, but the <laughs> grandpa guy. Her, that grandpa guy. That's it. Yeah. Mention the PPG grandpa and you'll get 10% off. That's excellent. I like to be 10% off. JB, am I worth 10% off too, or, or am I just an like old grandpa? Like always, 10%. Man. All right. See how you twist your arm like that? 
No, I like that, 20%. but I'm 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 twenty percent now, <laughs> man. I just need I need more people to give me ten yeah, percent off, so I'm I'm like a hundred percent eventually. <laughs> So, Jim, thank you so much for joining us. Um, everybody knows you as the uh, maple syrup guy, so enjoy that one for the rest of your life. Ha! <laughs> and uh, definitely appreciate you giving away that PPG calendar over at ppgcalendar.com. All right, we also got our very own Linda Anderson with the pom-poms. Welcome, everybody. It's Monday night. The only place to be right here with all of us crazies. Um, yeah, I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Sit back, enjoy the show, grab those snacks. You know, it's going to be a good one. We got we got Mike Matsloper in the house tonight, and I'm super excited, super psyched about it. And uh, I just want to welcome everybody on Monday night. And uh, if you want to be a guest on the show, sorry, Miss Molly shares the desk with me. She can tell my monitor is going all over the place. If you want to be a guest on the show, just get up on my Facebook, uh, paramomusa.com, which takes you to my Facebook. And you can uh, DM me or call or whatever and say, hey, I want to be on your show, Paramom, and I'll get you all set up. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Yeah, Enjoy. You notice, you notice it's her show. It's not the grandpa's anymore. I nope. thought this was mine, but nope, nope, nope. It's Linda's show. Welcome, it's welcome show. everybody to Linda's show. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> you would think like the way this uh the monitor's going you know i'm like sitting on a boat or something here <laughs> <laughs> um like i said uh, me and miss molly we share the desk now on monday nights so <laughs> is what it is for right uh, you know for now but That's anyway good. it's kind of like this right <laughs> yeah. like, what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> Yep, that's it. Yeah, she don't care. She thinks you know, it just says if the screens are rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, one of these days we're gonna have to to do a uh, a podcast while flying, so we'd be like, "Hey, everybody, we're <laughs> on a mode. There you go. It's not Miss Molly. I swear it ain't. It's not. We're really on a. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you very much, Linda. We definitely appreciate you. Uh, thank always... you, guys. I love it. Thank you if you so want to much. be on her show, make sure you go to paramomusa.com. Right. <laughs> it does forward over to her Facebook page. Just PM her and say, yo, I want to be on your show because I don't know who that grandpa guy is. Thank you. All right. Yes. There you yep. go. You said it right. I Sorry. did. Yes, I did. We also got <laughs> our very own Scuba Steve. I've seen Scuba Steve on uh, on Adam Sandler's show, and you don't look the same, man. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't have my scuba gear on, man. Gonna... Oh, that's it. That's you don't have your scuba gear. That's it, man. That's it. So, um, yeah, I do a show on Fridays, 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time, called Scuba's Hangout. Um, come out there, check it out. You can mention PPG Grandpa on my show, and it'll get you not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a shop. And besides, it's Linda's show anyway, right? So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> And I just noticed that Will is doing the Madonna thing or something. What's on your right arm? My Ooh, right arm? Yeah. This thing? This, your, that's a lot of things. A, a fly hand. Oh, that's your fly hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> my fly hand. Yeah, that's my fly hand. Where well, there's the Will. Just, oh, that's the cool. dance for the oh. uh, fly hands. That's a <laughs> lot. Yeah. It's, wow. like, it's like kind of like those bands that they put on you when you go to the amusement park. Is that what it is? That's what it is. You visit amusement parks during the week, and those are all the bands, right? So yeah. Those are his friendship bracelets. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, I'd rather be referred to as Hulk Hogan. I don't know about Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs like a yellow tank top for that, though. <laughs> Different color That's bandana. Is That's all right. Somebody <laughs> asked me before, didn't know, anything, didn't know anything about PPG, right? And they said... And and uh, they found out that was PPG Grandpa. And they're like, powered puff girls. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong PPG, but thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm powered puff oh, girl. Nice. Grandpa. Powerpuff there girl. Right. there you go. Power puff girl, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, that's hilarious. That is kind of funny. Oh, yeah. I gotta I like change the back screen videos. now or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And how do we how do we get to your show, Scuba Steve? 
Um, go to paramotordude.com. That'll take you right over to my YouTube channel. It's the easiest way to find it. Because if you look up scuba on YouTube, you're going to mm -hmm. be going in circles for a long time. So, is that, like, is that swimming in circles because you're scuba steep? There you go. You got yeah. it. Sounds good. Oh, well, thank no you, Scuba poses. Steve. Definitely appreciate you. Glad that you're here on the panel. We also got Will Fly from Will Fly PPG Wasabi. Yo, what's going on? Good to be here Monday night with um, buddy Mike D'Antonio. It's really good to have you on the show, man. Seriously. But uh, I've just uh, been doing mostly uh, yard work. Haven't done any flying lately because the wind's been terrible. Now is when you'll tell me that I'm on mute probably after I Are show you up. on mute again? Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's crazy, man. <laughs> but uh, no, it's good to be here. And um, I'm getting ready to replace the elbow on my exhaust. So that'll be a first for me. First crack, first fix. And uh, yeah, that's about all. Well, tell us really quick about your uh, Just the Tip, and have you had any more <laughs> amazing uh, videos popping up, or were you slacked off a wee bit? Just the Tip popping up. Yeah, no, I'm working on number 10. It'll be, uh, I said last week it'd be coming out this week, but I'm not going to say when it's coming out, but it should be soon. I'm working on it. Just leave it at that. And if you want to check out my videos, you can go to youtube.com forward slash willfly. Or uh, willflyppg.com online. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Good that you're here. Will is going to be putting all of your names in the spinny will of winning things. So make sure you tag at Will and let them know that you are here and you want to be on uh, the spinning will so you can win something. I just love how he did the spinny will. Hey, I saw in the super chat that uh, John Wayne's coming to Arkansas. John Wayne, come on over to school. Let's go fly, buddy. Now, you know that this is a podcast, and you we have some amazing guests. Well, tonight, we're going to meet the legend. Everybody knows Matt Sloper. We've seen him all over the place all the time. He's always typing something in, his, in the Super Chat. And guess what? We got him here today. Welcome, Matt Sloper. Woo! Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Good to have it. you, buddy. So your, your name is really not Mad. Sloper, Mr. Mad Sloper, it's something different. What is your name? No, it's uh, Mike D'Antonio. And mm -hmm. uh, to be here, finally made it. I know uh, Linda Paramom has been bugging me for a while to get on the show, but I figured, uh, you know, just wait some time, get some seat time, and uh, get some experience with uh, the SP 140. So we uh, can talk about that and uh, anything else you guys want. I'm sure that people are looking at the back and seeing these uh, these these machines on your wall. So we might have to talk about those in the future for sure. But right now, uh, you said that you have been a paraglider for a long time. How long have you been paragliding, and what's your go-to wing and harness? Well, I've been only paragliding like uh, two years now, and um, started in 2021. And uh, my wing is a Nuvik Hook 5, and uh, I fly uh, a Nuvik harness. So uh, I went to school over in Santa Barbara for a two-week course to get my USPA rating, P2. And uh, got uh, by the time I was done the school over there, I had 75 flights there. And since then, I've gone on and completed like 80 flights of, uh, in paragliding. So uh, just the uh, last flight was on Friday night for an hour. Had a nice glass off on um, the mountain out here on uh, Gene Slope. And it was just like uh, pure joy flying. So I know there's a lot of people out there that love to paraglide. I think Linda's son is one of them. Um, mm -hmm. I've done the paragliding stuff before too, but I think my love is paramotoring. So I see that you were paragliding and now you moved over to the dark side of the forest of flying with a motor <laughs> on your back. So your first motor that you got was not a typical motor that you put on, put in two stroke and pull start it. You decide I'm going to go with something with a battery right away. You went with the SP140, right? Yeah, I went, yeah that's right. I went with the SP140. Um, I guess it's mainly... I got a lot of experience with 
I, you see behind me the RC planes and lithium ion electric. Everything I fly nowadays is electric. I think I haven't flown a, a nitro RC airplane in like 10 years. So everything's electric. So I figured easiest thing, don't have to deal with, you know, the maintenance and the downtime and having to put the, you know, stable and stuff like that into the uh, tank and dealing with carburetor and gum up and everything. I, I just figured it'd be easier just to go with something a little less maintenance. You know, that's uh, but my first flight was on a two stroke, it was on an Adam, an Adam 80. Believe it or not, as big as I am, I can't believe I, I got up at the Salton Sea last September with uh Daniello Mendez and uh Stay Bad Paramotors with his Adam 80. I'm telling you. Even even Grandpa Hulk Hogan, I mean, that uh, wants to go fly. I, that's my go-to man is uh, Adam eighty, and uh, I'm heavier than you. What you said that you're what two fifteen soaking wet with all your gear? Yeah, yeah two fifteen. But well, that's that salt and sea. That's below sea level, <laughs> and it took forever to get up. He had he actually had to tell me this get off the throttle because I was on full throttle for so long to try and climb out. He's like, oh, you got to take it easy on that throttle a little bit, like kind of back off. And but uh, yeah, and I, I flew that actually with my paragliding wing, you know, so that was pretty good. That was uh, my first flight with him. And then in that same day, then I moved on to get my first flight with the electric paramotor later on. So All right. So the first flight was an Adam 80. And then you went to an SP-140. Now, have you ever put it from uh, beginner mode to sport mode? Because that's what I flew mine in was uh, sport mode. No, I've only flown it in the chill mode because um, I just figured it has enough power as it is. I mean, in chill mode, it, it just goes. Um, and I was kind of looking at, uh, you know, keeping the, the throttle, you know, main kind of taming the throttle a little bit as first first uh, 50 flights at least on on the electric. And then eventually I'll go to the uh, sport mode, you know, for uh, that added power. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't had a need really yet to go into sport mode, but I will. I'm sure I will in time. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, the sport mode is awesome. And uh, I don't know who flies what, but flying an Adam 80, uh uh eos 100 the uh, he 125 the moster 185 blackhawk 220 i've flown them all right so the one that mimics the sp140 the most is a 220 cc in sport mode that is well wow, that's got some power then huh it has some serious power it can really boom uh, get get your butt up there. So you said your Adam 80 that you first tried over with uh, Staybed, um, you had on your paragliding wing. Now, paragliding wings are known to have lots of lift. So it, it felt pretty lifty for you, especially on Salt and Sea, right? Yeah, especially at Salt and Sea. It, it didn't take all that long to, to get up off the ground, but the climb rate wasn't the greatest. You know, it took a long time to get up to comfortable height, you know, four or 500 feet on your first flight and cruise around. But, I mean, it, it, once you got up there and then you back off, you didn't have to stay on the throttle really, you know, heavily. Uh, it, it cruised along pretty good. So yeah. you think, have you made a transition? Do you think you're strictly paramotor now, or do you still want to paraglide? Oh, I still like the paraglide. I'm, so what about the Scout Zero? Have you seen the Scout Zero? the scout oh that new one yeah that's that's real spendy <laughs> it, it, it's expensive <laughs> but it's money. basically a pair well it's kind of like a paramotor for paragliding pilots it's it's a it's just a hoop with a motor no frame and then you got the pod that you slide into and then you use your paragliding wing but yeah, yeah. it looks it looks pricey <laughs> what is it what is, yeah. what is it called what is it called oh, the scout zero scout zero yeah. Yeah. Is, that, is that like yeah, the uh, is that like the pod? Yeah, it's a pod. It doesn't have 
And actually, you can't sit it down like you would a normal paramotor because it doesn't have a frame. So there's a stand that you get and it sits back on that stand. So it's literally really light because it's just the motor with a, a hoop and then the pod that you get into. That's it. It's kind of like a Nirvana, but it's got Sorry. It's bigger than the pod. It looks, you know, the frame is bigger than the the pod's kind of like a self enclosed uh, thing, right? Oh, like the ducted pod that the the Russian had? Yeah. No, no, it's an Atom 80. Yeah. 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 It's made so that you can, like, if you live on a flat land, you can get up and then turn the motor off and just glide thermals. That's what it's made for. So, cool. I mean, yeah. but they're pricey. I think they're like twelve five or something like that. Uh, like, only seven thousand eight hundred forty two. Look at that. Well, that's <laughs> European, yeah. whatever the hell. You got to get that over to the U.S. Euros, that's euros. <laughs> euros, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, that's ex it's really expensive. Then they got vats. You see all those added? If you go back up, will. Yeah, yeah, nine thousand low there where it says ninety four ten forty euro oh, yeah. includes bats because the Europeans, have you ever noticed, they like tax products as they're being made. Like they don't tax the end, they tax the end product, but like every part that gets manufactured pays a tax. So that's why you see it's it's almost like sixteen hundred euros more. Oh my gosh, that's just tax? Yeah, that's tax. <laughs> 1,600 euros in tax. Man, that, that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, like 12, 5, like I was saying. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I looked at it and I thought about it and I got on his email list. Yeah. And it, and it has a one gallon gas tank, I think he uses, or a half a gallon, so maybe a one gallon. And like you said, the stand, you have to have the special stand to, to mount the motor to. Yeah. And then you go and get into the harness and then lift it up, you know, and then strap into your harness. And, you know, it's, I think he's running, it might be a 135 prop on there, I think. But, uh, you know, for an Adam 80, I'm, I'm sure that's probably a big prop, right? Is that big for an Adam 80? I didn't see the size. What yeah, was what, it? yeah, what size was it? Was well, that, I think it's a 135. 135 is big for an Adam 80. Yeah. For an Adam 80, I think he's running a larger prop, you know, with a different gears, gear reduction and stuff you like that. You definitely have to with, with that size, absolutely. And the thing is, though, you can go up in your Adam 80 with a uh, motor mountain wing, and the one that I like the best is the Gen Vantage 3. It's a motor mountain wing, right? So you can go up and uh, hike and fly if you want to, and you can you know, hook on your paramotor if you want to. So what I like to do is to take it up midday, right, on a, with an Atom 80 because it's definitely lighter, and that way I can uh, basically thermo, get up there, mm -hmm. turn off the Atom 80, fly around, have a good time, and if I need power, brap, start her up and go again. <laughs> Hey, Brian, Brian uh, Franz said without, so that's without value added tax. Is that what VAT stands for? Value added tax? I think that's, I think that's it. <laughs> I fail to see the value in it, tell you the truth. <laughs> 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 the value is it's $1,600, you ain't getting back. I mean, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. Man. Yeah. We went off on a tangent a wee bit, so uh, before we start going back again, hey, yeah. Will, is there anybody uh, posted any questions in the Super Chat? Yeah, Shane's Planet Shane had uh, it's kind of a twofer. He's talking about the electric. He says, it seems great, but why can't the controllers or batteries handle long-term sustained amp draw? And well. I don't know. <laughs> well, the batteries that they're using are, lith are the lithium ion, and they're only rated, each cell is probably rated at uh, five amps, probably. So if you multiply five times and it's 11, it's 24 cells, right? So five times 24. So it could handle 125 amps constant, right? 
but 120, 125 amps at that voltage. I know I cruise. Now my cruise is a lot less efficient for some reason because maybe my wing, my weight, and my altitude, my MSL is a lot higher than what the original guy Paul and Zach, who developed this, would get. They get 55 minutes to an hour, and they seem to be cruising at like four kilowatts and my cruise is like at six 6.1 kilowatts okay which equates to roughly like 68 amps so i can cruise at 68 amps and not hurt the batteries but if, if you want to try and cruise at you know pulling 10 kilowatts uh you're going to kill the battery over time you know it, it's like double what it really should be you know, they just didn't, the battery technology has to advance more so that you can have a higher amp draw. Obviously, we want higher amp draw for more power and more efficiency, you know, last longer and less weight, you know, because that battery is like 47 pounds if for the one hour battery. So my frame is like 83 pounds with my reserve on it. Well, have you ever thought about actually using a trike on it? Um, I actually have a student that's going to be coming in in a month or so that wants the SP140 on a trike. So this will be the first time to actually see if something like this would work. But I was wondering, have you thought about that before? Or have you heard about it no, yet? I didn't, want to do a, I didn't want to do a trike. I wanted something more compact, easy to to, to pack away because I take it apart and put it in. I put it in the back seat of my truck. You know, so I, I like breaking it down. But uh, the original guys, uh, Zach and Paul, have developed a system for a trike. And they put it on a trike, but you can't, you have to use two batteries because of the added weight and drag. And especially if you're doing like a tandem, they were doing a tandem. So you have a big tandem wing that's like, what, 39 square meters, 38? And then you have two passengers, two guys that are 215 pounds each, 200 pounds each. And then the weight of the trike, they flew it accidentally on one battery and it about killed the battery. It didn't have enough power, barely. It was like, it looked like they were flying an Atom 80 trying to climb out with two guys, right? And then they eventually figured out that they didn't put the two batteries together. But once they put the two batteries powered up together, it was fine, but you know that's a lot of weight on uh, and a lot of amp draw for those batteries, even though it's you know two of them. But yeah, it can be done. Uh, probably a retracted trike would be better. That's what I was you thinking. Know. Something that just yeah. bolts on like a light trike, not not to power up, you know, a, 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 a dedicated trike. Yeah, the dedicated trikes would be, I think, too heavy, and you you could do it. There's guys that have done it down in Australia where they did it, but they, again, they used two batteries for that. So that, that's a lot of weight. You're talking about, geez, 94 pounds, 95 pounds in battery alone. You Wouldn't know? you be able to compensate with the different wing though, or a bit larger wing? Absolutely, you should be able to. The, the bigger the wing, the more your load you can handle for sure. And because yeah, sure. it's consistently, your weight doesn't change, you can keep your efficiency throughout. So that should be nice too. Yeah, yeah when you get it dialed in, how about the balancing of the batteries? How did that, does the software handle that? Does the does balancing? Like a, yeah, there's there is a balancing, they call it a BMS. It's a battery management system that's inside the battery and it's connected to all the cells. So it balances the cells. And they actually, the newer batteries, uh, unlike mine, because I got like the batch two, the newer ones that come with the Bluetooth capable. So you can connect it to your phone and then it has an app and you can sit there and see all the cells and you can manage it and you can tell it like, okay, I want a lower cutoff. Like if you want to get a little bit longer flight time, now you're going to, you know, degrade your batteries quicker, you know, and some people don't want to cut off at all, which, you know, is probably a good thing. I would. I would rather ruin a battery if I'm flying over a lake 
and I can get across the, over to land than landing this thing in the water. You know what I mean? I would sacrifice a battery and the system just for my safety, you know? So. Now, when your battery gets low, does it just suddenly drop or does it ease down? It kind of eases down. I mean, and the, and the controller has an LCD panel and it tells you the voltage, your amp draw, your kilowatts, um, and it tells you your altitude. And then it also has like a bar graph that goes from green, yellow to red, and it tells you a percentage of battery that you have left. And I've flown mine down to under load while cruising at that six amps. I've flown it to where it was at 10%. And I didn't want to go down below that because I felt like I, I want to have a go around and I did do a go around and on the go around it did it climbed, but it was, you know, if I have the advantage of flying out at a dry lake bed where there's absolutely nothing to hit for two miles, you know, so I can slowly climb out. But if someone had a tree lined, you know, LZ, you might be in the trees if you run it too low because you're not going to have the power to climb out. You know, so you just got to watch. You learn over time as you fly it more and more what you can do and how far you can push it. But some guys have had, with the newer batteries, cut off. You know, they've had it, they've had it cut off on them. And it's basically like a motor out. You know, it's a, it's, it is because you can't restart it, you know. So. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, it is uh, 7.30 right now, or 7.27, almost 7.30, and we're going to be doing the spinning wheel of Winnie thing, so make sure that you say hello to Will in the super chat. Let him know that you are here and you want to be on that spinny wheel. Yes. Spinny wheel. I love Good that. Good luck, everybody. Spinny wheel. We're going to be doing that in about 15 minutes. So you have 15 minutes to make sure that Will has your name on the spinny wheel. Make sure you hit that like because that really helps us. And we definitely appreciate that. That shows that you really like us. And guess what? Go. We like you too. And that's <laughs> what we hear every Monday night. <laughs> that's uh, right. I know. We can do a, uh, we can do a, a, a screenshot. We should do a Who's screenshot. So, <laughs> where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? Oh, Linda took them off. <laughs> Scooby, I for a minute there, you had me. I thought that you were frozen. Scooby. I was like, is oh, he? No. Is he? <laughs> oh, man, look at that. It is Hawk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Ready? One, two, three. Got it. Nice. Yeah. I wear my sunglasses at night, so I... Oh, my ears. <laughs> hey, who sings that? Not me. You Not me. Song? I don't know. That's a good question. A Corey good question. Hart? Isn't his name Corey Hart? That sounds all right. All I'm saying is let him no, sing it and no, not me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Corey Hart was... Why do I know that? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh, because I'm an 80s guy. That's... <laughs> I, thought, I don't but, remember that song. He was an actor. All right. You don't remember, remember that song. Kevin Hart's Kevin Hart. Yeah. That was, no, that's the of a little actor. Uh, Corey Hart was the actor back in the 80s. It's called I Wear My Sunglasses at yeah. Night. That's the name of the song. Yeah. Really? Have you not heard that, Ms. Linda? No. Oh, well, we need to play it eventually for you. Not now because <laughs> it us out. I'm going to Google it. Can you yell at us? All right, so um, we only have uh, Mike until 8 o'clock, which is about 30 more minutes from now. So we have 15 minutes to go over some the rest of his story, the rest of his adventures, and then we're going to spin the wheel, and then we're going to uh, slowly bleed out, and we'll be done by 8 o'clock tonight. And don't forget, guys, yes. um, uh, we have our new website, runintothesky.org. It's not set up for mobile yet, but if you check it out on your computer, runintothesky.org, it's looking really pretty, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Oh, we got our plumbing uh, run, we got our electricity run, 
got uh, the slab that's going to be put out there Friday, Friday and our school is going to be built awesome. for this nonprofit organization. And it's all because of you guys that have helped us out with amazing donation. Run to the sky.org, hit that donation. Uh, we got more information down below about run to the sky. Uh, anything that you can possibly do for us, it definitely helps. Um, anything that you, uh, if you want to use our super chat right now too, uh, all of our proceeds go over to run to the sky. And we definitely appreciate y'all. Don't forget those thumbs up. All right, let's I know go. What back. Will's doing? What's this Will doing? Chris. I, I'm not gonna say, but I can guess what Will's doing right now. What? Uh, you can see both hands. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Scuba? I don't know, man. He's got my curiosity on. I, I think he's getting a particular picture for the wheel. That's all I'm saying. Oh. oh, oh. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you weren't doing that, man. I thought I was like, for sure he's doing that right now. Because it looked like he was clicking, looking for something. I was like, oh, he's doing it. <laughs> for sure you was going to say rigging it. <laughs> no, not rigging it. Oh, oh, whoa. So, Mad Sloper, what are those things behind you? Um, inquiring minds want to know. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are uh, <laughs> FPV racing wings. So, first person view, first right. see racing wings. And uh, we used to run, I used to run a local chapter for a place called Multi-GP. It's a big drone racing league, and we used to race the wings out here in the desert. Man, that doesn't even look like a drone. That looks like well, a... Well, it's not a drone. It's a wing, like a Delta wing. Oh, okay. Get off the wall for you so you can see. So it's a, it's a flying wing. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. It's like something a green gobbler from you know from spider. I've seen somebody else one of those, but yeah. I green know. gobbler? Yeah. Did you say green gobbler? gobbler? Yeah. <laughs> it was a gobbler. Gobbler. yeah. Yeah, green gobbler, whatever it was from Superman. <laughs> That's uh Pac-Man yeah. version of Spider-Man. Yeah. Awesome. Man. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Hey, go ahead and uh -huh. go ahead and show it again. I'll spotlight you. Everyone else is talking. So go ahead and show it again real quick. I don't think. There we go. So is that a um? What is that on the top there? Is that like a solar panel? Uh this this is just the hatch. This is the hatch where you put your electronics in, like your oh, speaker okay. controller for the motor, your receiver, your video transmitter. Then the battery goes up here. Then we got the camera up front, and then these are the servos, and these are just uh, fences that keep the wing a little bit more stable when you're turning. How fast does that go, man? It looks like it goes really fast. Yeah, it does like 120. What? what? Yeah, about 100, 120 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah, my fastest wing that I don't read that uh, I haven't raced it, but it does like 165. Dang. Yeah. You could literally do circles around us paramotor people. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fly it around the paramotor guys. It just uh, you know, they go pretty quick, and if the video goes out, there's no sail fail safe other than just shut it off and let it land wherever. <laughs> oh no, no, no GPS no. or anything. No, no, we do, because we're flying these in cl close proximity, probably in in the size of a football field. You know, maybe two football fields yeah. long. So we're not worried. You know, some of my other stuff that I fly, uh, FPV, has, you know, GPS and return to home and all that good stuff, you know. Right. Now, my question is, what goggles are you using for those? I use the uh, Fat Shark HDO 2s, you know. So they're just Fat Shark goggles. Yeah, that's what we use for our drones. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't gotten into the digital stuff. So uh, I have so much invested in the analog. It's kind of like, ah, uh, no. If I were to start from the beginning, I would, you know, get the, the digital stuff. Pictures a lot better. But, so, yeah. Well, Butch Fly, also known as the Green Gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, you're the green gobbler now. Goblin. I would like to would like to <laughs> say um hello oh, to uh Mila and uh to Noah Vale that has joined us in the uh live audio stream over at Podbean. So welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, what's up? Checking out your podcast. Check mine out if you get a minute. I will. I will to Noah Vale. Welcome. All right. So uh, anyway, uh, we have about 10 more minutes to um, to spin the spinning wheel. Hey, uh, to no avail, if you go to iFlyParamotors.com, it'll take you over to this live stream. And if you want to, you can uh, uh, be in the super chat and possibly win something. We're going to spin the wheel here in about uh, 10 minutes. All right, guys. Let's see. Uh, any questions in on the panel? For sure. Me. So, how many how many flights or how many hours do you have on this electric paramotor? Right now, I have uh, twenty one flights on it, and roughly like nine hours on it so far. You know, so it's or some of them flights like ten minutes long. I'm just oh, some to... are like fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. You know, I get got up there a couple of times, and uh, the weather was bad. Right. You know, it was getting a little like I I was trying to figure out when to fly here out in the desert, you know, and uh sometimes you go in the evening and you go out to the dry lake bed and there's dust devils ripping across there and you're like, I don't, don't think I want to fly now. Right. And then uh, you know, even though it gets calm and then you go up and then it's you know, there's a certain layer I remember going up one night half hour before sunset and if you were above 300 feet it was rough you know That's what my you dog know, said you know yeah. rough rough and, yeah, uh, rough. and uh, other times you know you can go up high and it's better but uh so some of those flights i've had where uh it was kind of rough so i just landed quick you know sooner do you do you monitor the winds aloft? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I look at uh, several numerous weather apps, um, so I, I look at those. But I, I tend to fly. I like to just go up to about five six hundred feet and then adjust my um, trims back in to the where it's the wing is rated to be a to be a low B wing, you know. And then uh, that's then I'll either go down, probably cruise around, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet, you know, go around there or stay up high, depending on how the weather is, you know. But uh, right. So, you know, how many of y'all you know, went up like and the, the weather was good? You go up and you're like, oh, it's a little bumpy, but it's okay. But then you fly for almost an hour. And by the time you land, it's really bad. <laughs> Has that happened to you? Has it happened to me? I'm just wondering. <laughs> well, yeah. Nobody? The uh... I know I have went up that was really bad once, and then that was an emergency flight home, four miles away to land in a field. I could not wait to get down. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I went up at 6.30 in the morning. It was the crack of dawn. And by 7.30, it was like tornado of terror. I had to land, and I, I was like... <laughs> That was bad, man. I was, yeah, I didn't want to do that again. Now that you're the only person that's ever happened to, Steve. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so, Mike, so, where does Mad Sloper come from? That's a good Mad, question. That's a really good, good question. Well, it's uh, I, probably about 12, 14 years ago, I started flying uh, on the slope out here slope storing uh, airplanes and wings. And uh, I used to take people up to this one big mountain and it would be blowing like 50, 60 miles an hour. They're like, I can, there's no way we're flying. And I'm like, yeah, you can, you know, if your plane's heavy enough, you can. But uh, I used to go up in just any kind of weather just to fly. I was so addicted to uh, sloping on the, on the hills out here in Nevada. And I would go to California and drive four or five hours to go fly too. So someone said, you're mad. So I go, okay, man, sloper. 
You so know? you were flying the current that's coming off of the mountain or the ridge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, off of the ridge. So I was doing, in California, to do what's called dynamic soaring, you yes. know, with uh, big, big carbon planes and get, you know, get them flying 350, 400 miles an hour. I think the current record is like 545 miles an hour or something like that, just off of the wind, you know. So these are pretty big, big uh, fixed wing, you know, tailed carbon fiber planes that weigh anywhere from 10. Do they, I got a question. Do they give you um, a warranty on the battery? I mean, how many cycles are those batteries rated for? Oh, he gives you a two year warranty on the on the battery, and um, he's they're estimating at least 500 cycles, maybe even up to 700 cycles, as long as you don't abuse them. You know okay. what I mean? Right. So, as long, I mean, don't it's like lithium ions, you don't, you don't leave them fully charged, you leave them at half charge. So, I actually went because. I had some flights where, like this, where I, the weather's bad, and here I got a battery that's still charged, and I don't want to, you know, I, I might not be able to fly for two weeks because of weather or something else. So I went and bought a an inverter that is capable of handling up to 105 volts all the way down to 75 volts, and it's a 1,500-watt inverter, so it inverts it from AC to DC. I mean, DC to AC. And uh, so now I can at least put my battery at storage and have the peace of mind that I'm not trashing my battery, you know, if I don't fly the full half hour, you know. So, so you don't you don't drain your battery. You just use the inverter. Well, I haven't used the inverter yet. I just got the inverter last week. But usually I would fly the battery all the way to half uh, half hour and actually when I go home I would only have to plug it into the charger for like 20-30 minutes and it would bring it back up to storage charge you know so I've never taken it way down to where uh, it took a long time to get it to storage and sometimes if I know okay I can go out in 2-3 days I'm not really sweating having it still at you know 70-80% or 80 charge it's it's more like you don't want it sitting at full charge for like two weeks. It's bad for the battery. So, okay. There was a it wasn't a question. It was kind of a question, but I, I wanted to share share this. Um, James was we were kind of wondering about the uh, and I'm wondering about this too. But they have to cut back on weight somehow, right? With paramotors and wings. I mean, it's all about you know bringing the weight down as much as possible would you say that the frame is less rigid or does it feel as rigid as any other frame say like the one you had when you were flying the, the um adam 80 oh no no it's a, it's it's less rigid it's built as light as possible okay so that, you know, that's that's the question like if you were doing a forward launch do you feel flex um, I don't do power forwards. So, I mean, I just do normal forwards. I haven't, I wouldn't think a power forward is good because I've seen some guys that have tried that and they bend the hoop, you know, okay. so they look at their hoop later on and it's like oblong because one side got pulled down, you know, so yeah, it's not really something that you want to uh, do power forwards with. And if it's windy, I wouldn't do uh any forward launches if you, if you could do a reverse launch i would go to a reverse launch just because of the the frame the hoop is is made out of aluminum you know so it's not a steel heavy duty double hoop or anything like that you know i, I wonder about putting a retractor track on it then i mean yeah that's, that's the problem. yeah that would be some of the guys that have done the trike thing they they've actually modified and put a second hoop, you know, and they put some guide wires to help, like you know, with the flex by putting you know wires on the sides 
halfway up or one third the way up the hoop and attaching it towards the front of the wheel, the front wheel of the trike, just to help with uh, the strain of, you know, take it off with the trike. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty much always going to be a powered forward if you're, you know, with the, with the trikes. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So can again, you take the motor? Can you take that motor off of that frame and put it on another frame? Where's sure. It built in. Well, and can you just buy the motor? Yeah, you can just buy the motor. You can buy the speed controller and the battery and the prop all separate, and uh, the you know make sure you get the uh, the hand speed controller, the the throttle. And there's guys that have actually put them on, like trikes like a standard trike, you know, where, but you have to make up your own plate, obviously your own motor plate. Yeah. And figure out a way where you're going to mount the battery and make sure that you get the thrust angle, you know, proper, you know, and, and the thrust line. Yeah. yeah. Those aren't small things to figure out, you know, and the real yeah. to get right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's possible. A lot of people, there's some guys over in Europe that, uh are making their own you know like their own trikes and their own paramotors and they're buying the motors and the speed controller and everything you know and they're building like one guy's building his own battery and he built this battery that's like twice as big as the one that they sell <laughs> and, and, and then i think he realized he was going to put it on his back and then he put it onto the paramotor and this battery is like sticking above his head and everyone's like, dude, that CG is going to be way off. And if you have a problem, that thing is like going to decapitate you, you know, the battery. <laughs> Some of the things people come up with, but, you know, I think he ended up mounting it lower. He realized that it was so tall. The battery was like just sticking way up high. So, you know. But some guys have actually done batteries, like two batteries, two small ones. Mm -hmm. Like saddlebags on the side. That's smart. You know, to keep them low. Right. To, you know, to, to kind of drop some of the weight on this. And, and this frame is like a, a low hang point, but a high thrust line. It actually pushes you forward, I found, because I, I did my hang test initially. And I tried to do like a 10 degrees. And then when I went to fly it, I noticed that I had to go like full throttle for a lot. And it was actually, I noticed in my videos, third person view looking, that my, I was actually take off the ground. It would get me four or five feet off the ground, then start pushing me towards the ground hmm. until the wing really caught up and, and got up to speed. And then I would start climbing because my thrust angle was too low because the motor with the thrust line of the motor was so high on your back that it, it it does like the opposite of what a lot of paramotors do where they push you up. This one pushes you forward and down. So I've gone, I've gone to a, a higher uh, hang angle of like 15 degrees. And I, and I could probably go all the way up to 17 and still I feel like it's kind of, you know, when I'm going along the ground, like when I'm cruising at cruise throttle, uh, you know, it's kind of pushing me along pretty straight and not so much like an up thrust on the, on the motor. Hmm. Well, if you ever get this way, let's uh, do some hang checks and fly it around, fly different wings, see what it's all about. And speaking about what it's all about, how about we do a spinny wheel real quick? And while we're doing the spinny wheel, getting that up and getting ready to go, let's uh, go ahead and continue to talk about your uh, your SP140. Now, you said that you got about, what, 20-some flights on your SP140? Yep, that 21 flights in about nine hours flying on it. So, uh, you know, it's going pretty good. Zero maintenance. Haven't had any, any problems with it whatsoever other than the initial battery connector had had like a spark arrestor in it and that melted. So I had a hard time getting the connector apart. So I ended up buying a big Anderson 
uh, connector, kind of like what a lot of guys use for like their four by fours, and the, if they have a winch that they connect that to. So I've since then, a, a, you know, fixed that problem and uh, don't have any problems with uh, you know connecting the battery. I'm connecting it. I had a couple times where I had to like take the paramotor home with the battery still connected in the back of my truck. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't come undone, and I had to get, you know, some vice grips or, you know, some clamps and stuff in order to get more leverage, more uh, grip to pull them apart, but we don't have to worry about that now. Interesting. Well, we got the spinning wheel up, and uh, let's go ahead and have Linda, our Paramom USA, say hello to everybody. Okay. This is my favorite part. Okay, so I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, let me see what we got. Uh, Don Maville, Kevin Houston in the house, Joe Adele, Bonnie France, Brian France, the other Nick, Kramer, Duck Spit, PPG, Dewey Smilstead, Daniel Rush, James, Matt Sloper, John Wayne, Shane Planet Shane, Next Batman, Bill H, Greg Laney, what's going on? Gary Simons and CT Fly. Thank you so much, chatters. Good luck to everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. We really appreciate y'all. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and give away the PPG, um, what do you call that? What, what do we call that, Jim? PPG? Calendar. Oh, I thought you were gonna say uh, maple syrup. Okay, darn it. <laughs> All right, we're not giving we're not going to give away PPG maple syrup. We are going to be giving away a maple, uh, maple, maple syrup smelling calendar. Is that it, Jim? Tell us all about that and what you do for us over at carepppe.com. Yeah, this one this is not going to smell like maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have Bill in there. <laughs> as as. Uh, as Tony Marzano would say, just saying. But just uh, saying. yeah, calendar with the, uh, it's gonna, it's almost halfway done the year. So it's only half as good, but <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can definitely use this calendar for the rest of the year, or you can just look at the beautiful pictures. Oh, on, there the, you go. on that note, if you've got any awesome pictures, some of your favorite pictures, you can post them at ppg calendar you can submit them for next year's calendar so get those in there we've got a few entries some really pretty beautiful pictures but we could use more there you go i'm gonna be sending in my uh, hulk hogan looking look and a couple of <laughs> paramotors behind me and hopefully we'll have some hulk hogan pictures on the next ppg calendar oh, centerfold Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, oh centerfold there we go <laughs> That's all right beautiful. jim all thank right. you thank you for everything you do jim make sure you run over to carepp.com for all of your printing and uh, calendar needs and of course if you just tell jim the maple syrup guy that you heard of ppg grandpa he'll give you 10 percent off of anything that you want you bet yes all right spinny will there we go spin that will spin. all right here we go Hey. Round and round and round she goes. I think it's going to be Joe. I no, think it's going to be Kevin Houston. I'm going to say Kevin. I think it's going to be, you know what? Matt Sloper's on there. So, you know what? He he wins all the time. So, even though he's the guest, he's probably going to win again. Bonnie. Bonnie, I know, right? Bonnie, <laughs> wins, Bonnie wins everything. It's It's rigged for Bonnie. I love it. It was so fun meeting. Brian and Bonnie at the fly-in. It's so much fun. So cool. They are characters. They're Love awesome them to death. People. I hope to meet we see one of these days. We run into each other. Kevin Ooh. Houston, Kevin Houston, Kevin Houston. Did I call it? Did I call it? Did I, I said you know, but it looks like it's gonna be you Kevin. Did it. I call it? I called you Joe. Did. You called Kevin. Kevin Houston. Kevin Houston. Woo! See? Oh, right. Congratulations, <laughs> Kevin Houston. You are the president. I'm like, I'm like oh, I have the psychic ability on these shows. I'm telling you, Will. 
Yeah, you know, know what it sounds like? It sounds more like you're rigging it, Paramom. So, you you know, watch, watch your ESPN, <laughs> all right? You're... Yeah, your 100% uh, accuracy rate is kind of suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, could, I, could actually I would like for you... Actually, I'd like for you to um, tell me my next lottery numbers. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm right. Uh, Can I get the Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, that's awesome. I called it. I'm so yeah. proud of myself. You sure did, you lucky duck. I don't know how you did that. I called Joe. That's not the first time. Said. I know. That's pretty cool. Well, I think Mike is going to have to uh, say the next one, but obviously he's going to say, Matt Sloper wins. Matt Sloper wins. Nah. <laughs> right. not tonight. Hey, he's got Give that cool away. shirt on, so he's a representing. He's yes. representing the paragliding truck. Paragliding truck. Uh, this one doesn't count. This one doesn't count? No. No. Why, why are you doing that one then? I, I hit it by accident. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Well, JB from JBPPG.com is going to hook us up with another prize. So how about we talk with JB real quick and tell us, hey, tell us all about your company, what you do for us, and Will is going to get that spinny wheel up again. All right, so essentially I deal a lot with vinyl decals. I make a lot of mugs, tumblers, uh, hard can koozies. I'm doing those now too. Um, so I'm in the process of uh, making a traveling trailer to where I go to these different fly-ins, different events, different things, and I can do all that custom work right there. So you got your favorite flying picture like uh, PPG Mom's got down there, Para Mom, right? I can make that on the spot for you. You walk away with it. So. And how do we get to your site, sir? Uh, that would be jbppg.com, right, right here behind me here. That's really uh, fast. How about for the people that are listening, go a little bit slower for old grandpas like me. Uh, JBPPG.com. And PPG stands for Powerpuff Girls. Oh, uh -huh. I got you, Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JB Powerpuff Girls. Uh, we definitely appreciate you. And obviously, too, if you want to get something over at JBPPG.com, make sure you use... The coupon code PPG Grandpa Powerpuff Girl Grandpa, yes. and you get ten percent off. Maybe it should I be Hogan, Hogan Grandpa for a month. <laughs> <laughs> got some names in there. Yeah, I see next Batman and Cowboy John in the house. Welcome. But whoever wins, they gotta make and sure they sign H. up with their address so that I know where to send it to. I love it. Excellent. So my house. Mike, you're peep, you're you're a uh, you're a mad sloper. So tell us, who do you think is going to win this spinning wheel? Oh, I'm thinking uh, Bonnie. Bonnie wins a lot. <laughs> Bonnie <laughs> wins a lot. Everybody knows Bonnie. Yeah. I'm saying Bill H. I'll say Deweese. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Joe again because he was almost there last time. <sighs> Man, that's that's so competitive tonight. I love it. We're probably duck spit. Yeah, because he's Daffy. <laughs> Daffy. <laughs> that was funny. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be Greg Laney. It's growing right by Kramer. Greg Laney. 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 Yep. That's it. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, All right, Greg Congratulations. Laney. Congratulations. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, what did he win? I <laughs> like that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> what did he win? Yes, what did he win? What he won a decal. I'd show you, but they're all out in the trailer right now. I don't have them in here. Well, okay. So how how does uh, Greg get up with you as far as uh, winning that? And what if people want to get these stickers anyways? How do we go there? Just go over to jbppg.com. Um, like I said, they won on there, and their name's not the same. They can shoot me an email from there, let me know who they are. I've encountered that, too. And then just shoot me an email from there. You can hit me up on Facebook at James Belville, and I can get right back to you from there, too. 
Excellent job. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm digging it, man. I had a really good time uh, Me too. sweating out here in in the run right into the sky. Oh, wow, on how you uh, stand it. Uh, well, I'm sitting down. That's how I'm standing it. Yeah. <laughs> Chase. oh i know that's a grandpa joke that's that's worse than dad jokes right <laughs> but um yeah so if you guys don't know already we have the nonprofit run into the sky.org we have the website uh ready for you guys to look at on a computer right now so go to run into the sky.org it looks really awesome we're still working on the mobile view and uh, once that's all up and running <laughs> all up and running like run into the sky right mm -hmm. once it's all running into the sky uh we'll um we'll let you guys know too um anyway so we're building up our school uh we have the uh the what do we have going in what do we have going on uh well we got the plumbing run got the we, plumbing yep for the bathroom we, we got the plumbing still left for the kitchen area right and we've got the septic tank put in yeah we week. did get the septic in you yes. and we got the fill lines run got the uh, fill lines. Well, slab will be poured friday so we got to get on the finish the plumbing. Yep. what's up big dog this is a big what's bear. up bear bear uh -huh. <laughs> Will an update on the headset? They um they have cleared customs. He's supposed to have them tomorrow and ship them out. Oh, so, nice! So I should have them by next week's show. I should have the headset. I'll probably already have a video up by then because I want to test the sound quality on it right I'm away. Looking forward to it. Definitely yeah. want oh. you to do that because it'd be really awesome. Mike, thank you so much for hanging out with us for that hour, man. I, yes, I appreciate thank you, Mike. it. I can't wait for us to go fly together and uh, see that SP-140 electric paramotor. Uh, I, I want you to fly it, man, and I want you to try different wings. And if you, like I said, if you want to come over here, we have a ton of, I can't pull the this laptop and show you how many wings we have right now. Ten. Ten yeah, wings. just fly from Nevada to Arkansas, yeah, no problem. Yeah. You might have to charge a few times. <laughs> So Ten different styles of wings over here. Solar wing. <laughs> there you go. go. Oh, that's I forgot right. To do that. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got so many wings over here. Come on over. And uh, John Wayne looks like John Wayne might be coming over for a week. That'd be really cool. So John Wayne can't wait, brother. Woo! Oh, um, that'd be fun. I know, right? Lots of videos yeah. with that. Mike, man, it was awesome Great. seeing you, Great. bro. Thanks the for having me on. Man, good time. The legend, the Matt right. Swooper. Uh, Very cool. Appreciate Thank it. you so Thanks much. Thanks for having Mike. me on. Thanks, Linda. Thanks oh, it's fun. fun. You guys, I enjoy watching your show every week. And when I get a chance, if I'm not, if I don't catch your show, it's probably because uh, if it's hockey season, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> hockey is on. My Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup this year. Huh? There you and, uh, go. Oh, I don't I'll know. Be, so. I love hockey, yeah, but I, you know, Detroit Red Wings, of course. Right. So, yeah. even though one. they didn't get into the playoffs and all that stuff, or did they? No, anyway. they this year. Now I just watch baseball, watch my Detroit Tigers. I know I can't wait for football too. So, yeah. I can't wait to go yeah. flying. Yeah, I can't wait to go flying. Hopefully, this weather clears up. We're getting uh. We, we send all this wind down your way, Sean. I mean, it, we have lots of, uh, look at this, blue sky out there right now. And we are ready mm. to go out and run into the sky here in just a moment. Sunset is not for another half an hour. And we have you, scopes, which means that we can go out and fly for an hour right you now. You and the green gobbler. I'm just. Me yeah, I'm and the green gobbler. I'm working on 20. Getting, clear, getting closer, <laughs> Steve. Sean, a question. Yeah, yeah, you got me beat, uh, Butch. You got me beat, bud. <laughs> I love it. What's that, Mike? It, it, you don't have any real mountains over there, so you don't have to worry about catabatic air after sunset? No, we don't, which is really awesome. Now, uh, if you wanted to free fly, we usually go over to Oklahoma and to the mountains there. Oh, they got it. But uh, – I like I like staying over here at uh, when it's when it's uh, last hour, man. Smooth, butter smooth. I don't care how turbulent the wind is all day long. That last hour and that last half hour after sunset, butter smooth. So we get an uh, hour and a half in the morning, so half an hour before sunrise, and an hour afterwards, and then an hour 
before sunset and a half an hour. We get three hours in that's butter smooth every day. That's nice. Yeah. Very Is it, cool. I, I've never flown over grass or, or green fields anywhere. Do, do, are they pretty smooth to fly over green fields with the paramotor? Yeah, I have no problem uh, foot dragging uh, pretty much anything. Just don't foot drag gravel roads. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you want to keep your prop. No, if you want to keep your you prop guys... or anything else. <laughs> right. You guys get learn. rocked when you go over uh, like a big black top parking lot or something? Do you get thermals off of those? Do you get. Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, we'll definitely get some lift off of that. So you got to be careful when you're doing something like that. Actually, it's not bad going to it because now you get the lift, but going over it, then you're going to get a little bit of sink. But, you know, if you're going fast enough, it's really no big deal. But. Yeah, come on over, Mike. We'll have some fun. I'll have to come over sometime. Arkansas. Yeah, man. See what, see what it's like to, to come from the natural state. Yeah. Bring and all the green. Yeah. It's, all... it's green over here. You know what? It's green over here even during the wintertime, dude. Hey, yeah. What about when that – isn't that eclipse? Is, that's next year, right? That's yeah. April 8th, I think, and that's going to be the eclipse. It's going to be one of the longest eclipses, and it's going right overhead, which means that we get the maximum. That was, would be the time to fly right there when seven, the total eclipse happens. Boom. Seven minutes, I think, that we're going to have uh, a totality, and I want to be in the air for that because I want to get up there before, the, you know, before it happens. Uh, while it's going to totality, fly around because, hey, how cool is that, right? And then when we're done, uh, I, I – have a ground slow uh, ground dwellers sitting off fireworks while we're ground there. dwellers. <laughs> yeah, those darn <laughs> ground dwellers. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. we're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna have a bunch of tiny houses out here and and campers. And if you want to, just bring your camper uh, over here or any type of tent, and you can stay over at our LZ for free. So. That's nice. Come on over next April 8th because if you want to get a hotel, they're about $1,000 that night uh, just because they're, they're max. Night. <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? 1000 bucks for just one night for that April <laughs> yeah. 8th. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's already, it's already booked up right now. You can't find anything. Can't find anything. Uh, and then they're scalping them for 1000 plus. Oh. Uh, well, that's ridiculous. Better to camp out under the stars anyway. Uh, over it's here. that value added tax that gets you. It's yeah. it's something to see. We had it in Georgia a couple of years ago, and I got to see it. It's amazing to see. <laughs> There's no question. It the the freaking aura that goes around it when it's total is badass. <laughs> it just is. It's totally <laughs> badass. It <laughs> is man. totally. Yeah, I can't All right. Um, if we don't have anything else for anybody else, my name is Sean Simons, also known as PPG Grandpa. You can always find me at ppggrandpa.com, but I'm always over here at paramotorarkansas.com, flight school, and now we're also running the nonprofit organization, runintothesky.org, and just having a blast over here. Like we said, we're building up our new school, so if you're interested in nominating someone that is a disabled veteran, go over to runintothesky.org and fill out the form. We already got a couple of people that uh, have been nominated, so make sure you nominate. All right, you guys have a wonderful evening. Matt Sloper, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Can't wait till next Monday. You, Mike. See you in the super chat again. I'm like, I oh, yeah. know that guy. We tap it away. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's finally, it's nice to put a face to the pseudonym. It is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, thanks, Mike. And a name to it. <laughs> Definitely. And thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much, JB from jbppg.com, donating the stickers. Thank you, Jim, the maple syrup smelling money guy from carepp.com up in Canada. A eh? that's what it's all about. And uh, let's see, paraglidingtalk.com on Thursdays. <laughs> Yes, Steve is going to be doing his. Don't forget, don't forget. Just want to fly on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. nights with paramotorgirl.com. So Motor, be sure to yeah. catch her show on Wednesday. And I didn't mean to interrupt, but I got just really excited. You know how I do that because you know <laughs> I, you know how I am on my show. You know how I get. <laughs>
the Paragliding Chalk.com on Thursday nights with your host, Robert Michaels. Come hang with us. It's a, we have so much fun, we really do. All right, back to you, Grandpa. Yeah, it's definitely, see, you're, you're not interrupting me on my show. You're just taking <laughs> over the host position on your show. That, that's all that is. <laughs> you're the hostess with the most. There you go. So right. paraglidingtalk.com on Thursdays. Scuba Steve is paramotordude.com on Fridays. We got Paramotor Girl on Thursdays. Love and you, of Jay. course, yeah. clearprotv.com on Mondays. You can always find me at ppggrandpa.com or iflyparamotors.com. Help us over at runintothesky.org. You guys stay here. We're going to say goodbye to everybody on the live stream. We're going to chat for about five minutes because we still need to go fly. Love you, chatters. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next week. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. We stopped the live stream, and we want to say goodbye to everybody on the audio stream. Bye, everybody on the audio stream. We love you.